victories. Robert Shields and company eyeing a three-in-one start as they travel to Phillip Barber. These highlights brought to you by the one and only Luke Nestler <laughs> as we head to Philippi. Early in the second quarter, Shay Noss calls his own number. You shot a good game, Luke. I'm trying to give you credit. Sprints all the way down to the five-yard line. First down for LHS in the red zone. Liberty looking to score after a couple penalties would set them back. Noss throws it up, and Connor Ryan brings it down for the score. And the Mountaineers lead 12 to nothing. On the ensuing kickoff, oh, that Robert Shields breaking out the onside kicking. He is sneaky. That works perfected. Perf I'm making up words as we go here. To perfection. First play of the drive, James Pumphrey then takes the handoff and bolts all the way down to the one-yard line where he's finally pushed out of bounds. On the very next play, they go back to Pumphrey. He goes up the middle for the score. Tack on the two-point conversion, and the Mountaineers looking good on the road, leading 20 to nothing. Philip Barber then back to punt, but the snap is high, and the Colts have to fall on it deep in their own end. The Mountaineers looking to take advantage of that great field position. Pumphrey takes it down to the 10-yard line, setting up first and goal for the Mountaineers. On the very next play, Noss rumbles in for the touchdown. It was thought to be a fumble, but later ruled correctly that it was a score to make it 27 to nothing. Late in the second, Philip Barber looking to make something happen. Cody Lindsay throws it up, but it is picked off by Zach Davidson. Liberty just too much on this night. They win their third in a row, moving to 3-1 on the season, the final 34-14. to